What's going on, everybody? I'm sure a lot of people have already seen this video right here. Backyard breaks, they're called. I've never heard of them. Um, to be honest, I had to go through and search for where this part was at into here once I heard about it. To me, they are just way too annoying for me to even watch in a break. They might be somewhat entertaining to some people and stuff. But to me, it's just they're way too annoying <laughs> that I, I wouldn't be able to sit through a whole live stream. But that's their thing. You know, everybody has who they like out there and stuff like that. You know, like I said all the time before, there's people that like certain breakers and some don't. I mean, you got people like Platinum, Blez, these guys. Um, I, I've heard these guys break millions of product every year. But in this here, the I guess you could say the short end of the story is this. They're doing a giveaway to one of their Twitch followers, and they're hyping it up. Oh, man, we need 100 more, 150 more, or whatever it may be. And basically, they go to give an absolute box away. It's hobby. Pretty sure these were hobby. Yeah, I'm looking at two autographs and something else. And um, during the course, he opens up. You guys know it's one pack cello. They notice that there's a downtown gold in it. At first... You know, you don't know who it is. It could be a, a thousand dollar card. It could be a twenty, thirty thousand dollar card. I don't know. It depends on what everybody's going to pay for it, graded and stuff. They pull the Trevor Lawrence gold out of ten out of it, but before they figure out who it belongs to, once they see that it's a gold kaboom, they nix it and say they're going to give it away somewhere else. Well, you're doing a giveaway for the box. And then you open it, and then you're like, I'm not giving this away to you. You're going to get something else. Now, I, I'm not watching this whole thing um, at all. I'll link this in the description if you really want to. Start time, as you guys can see, 401.35. I'll play a little bit of it here for you. I don't know how much you guys will be able to hear of this. But I, I just, I don't know. I've seen other breakers talking about this today. And, you know, regardless if you're doing that giveaway and somebody buys into your breaks, is never hardly ever in your chat or whatever, you give that item away regardless of what's in it. Mike Trout 101s, whatever it may be. You know, that's what you do. That's the right thing to do. Now, I've heard different stories of the outcome that this guy was given, you know, some extra boxes, a Spectra and stuff like that to make up for it. Um, then I heard they were going to give it away to somebody that was in some big break they did. It was like $2,500 a spot or something. Then I heard now they're donating to charity. I have no idea what the outcome is to it. Um, I just am really in shock that, you know, it's done this way. Grant, sure, give away. You do whatever you want on to it. But they, they're like, they open the box up without even first picking somebody. It, it, it makes no sense to me. Here, I'm going to start playing it, and I might chit-chat during it. Let me see how loud this thing is, guys. Just send it. Send it for followers. And tell me who wins. Tell me who wins. Ugh. The Twitch is at Backyard Breaks. It's the link in the mouth. Let's rip it first and then give it away. Let's rip it first and then give it away. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Put that one over there. We have a kaboom! We have a kaboom! We have a kaboom, and, we're, have giving a kaboom and we're giving away a kaboom for free! We're giving away a goddamn kaboom! We're giving away a kaboom! And it's gold! And notice they're saying they're giving it away for free. No way! It's gold! Oh! It's gold! Oh my god! Bro, this is like a 5k card. I don't know. I would let that one No, no. Sit. We gotta let give this to sit. someone in the break. It's only fair. I'm, I'm serious. Okay, Alright, so let that we one gotta sit. We gotta give though. this to Either someone way, in the break. let it sit. The biggest loser is gonna get that. It has to be a big RPA. The biggest loser. They pay 2500 It's only fair. You're right. I can't give that no, to no, a No, no. You're right. You're right. I have to give that. I'm gonna give the last two packs to someone for free. Here we go. Derek Henry. Alright, Jonathan Taylor. It's gotta be a big RPA. Out of... Uh-oh. Diami RPA, what? Out of 75 and a Rondo more. I guarantee this next one has a big RPA. No, that was the RPA, Nick. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm yeah. just losing my mind. All right. Here we go. We're giving away both of these boxes to someone at Twitch. Right here, right now. We have a Justin Herbert. Kyler Rondell Moore. 
and a Nico Collins out of 199 with a Devontae out of 100. Sleeve and case him. Let's give him away. Let's give him away. She's in love with who I am. Let's give him away. Wait, is it follow her up? Um, right now, hold on. Well, let's just see this. Let's see this. I have What? That's fine. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. G Pel 10. G Pel 10. What was he following from? It says it. Following since January 13th. Holy shit. today. G Pel 10. Three minutes ago. Three minutes ago. G Pel. Look at this. Justin Fields out of 250. Don't look. I need that. Don't look. Don't look. LeVar Arrington, don't look. This is for free. Out of 49, we have a gold kaboom. We have a gold kaboom this for is free. A minimum 2,000. Ah! 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 All right, that's about enough as I could take of the video itself onto it. But as you guys can see, I don't know how well the volume was on to because I couldn't like take this video and splice it in. So I tried to hold the mic down by it for everybody. If not, just like I said, go to it. You guys will see. They talk about, do we have who we're giving it away to and stuff like that there? No, I can't give this away to just a follower. We're going to give it away to like a skunk protection to somebody in that break. I don't know. To me, it's just bad publicity. She just gave it away to the, the follower, you know. Even though I believe it's later on, they try to make it up because people start flooding their chats, calling them scammers and everything like that. Craziness out there. So let me ask everybody this question here. If this happened to you, what would you do offhand? I mean... I would be happy to pull somebody I don't know, something like that, whether they bought into a break or not, or bought off my website. You know, the option is you get with the free thing out there, and then you just start changing the rules as it goes. To me, just by watching this, I don't know how many people they're going to lose um, from getting in their breaks. They might still keep some and stuff. I have no idea. But to me, the right thing would be due is to give the Trevor Lawrence to whoever that follower was. You just can't change it and be like, oh, no, the kaboom has got to go here. Instead, we'll give you this. And like I said, I heard they gave him a bunch of other stuff for free, but nothing that comes up to being that card there, especially in value. I don't watch these guys break, so I have no idea. I heard they do giveaways constantly and stuff, which is probably great. Um but, you know, this little thing here is floating everywhere out there. Everywhere. Uh, just talking about, you know, people are calling it unethical. You know, the word scam is being thrown out there. To me, I just think it's wrong. Um, just based off of what I see right here, I, I'm not going to sit there and watch, you know, a half hour before and a half hour after this video. But, you know, from what I've read in the comments and from people that were in that chat and stuff like that, it was pretty rough. And I guess they addressed it kind of there. And then they put something up on one of their social media posts about, uh, what was it called? Uh, something about donating this. I don't know if it was a boys and girls club or something like that. And then, you know, of course, you're going to get the backlash from it saying, oh, that's just a cover-up on a Trevor Lawrence and stuff. I mean, when you're playing with this amount of money and cards, and you're doing all these breaks, and you have people coming in. I mean, they were talking about we have like 3,000 people now watching us between all these social medias and stuff. You should just roll with it. And it also seems like they're rushing stuff a lot to where it's like on the fly how they're just doing their giveaways. I mean, I, I don't know how they pick the followers and stuff like that, how all the fancy stuff pops up on the screen. You know, probably five years ago or so, there was a couple breakers that used to do giveaways, and it was a lot they would call them regulars that would hit it into those giveaways. And they were like, oh, man, yeah, they work for this so-and-so -so breaker. That's wrong and stuff like that. There, you start putting yourself in that shoe there, you know. But with there, there's just so much bad that's gone on in the hobby over the last 
I mean, it's been a long time, but really been brought to light the last year or two. You then have something like this that goes down beginning of the year. You're, you're going to make headlines across the board off all social media, Facebook groups, um, conversations, whatever it may be. I mean, these guys might be the greatest breakers out there, quick shipping, you know, all that stuff, do plenty of giveaways. But as soon as you do something that's questionable, it's done. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, as a breaker, I remember uh, I used to set rules that if it was a dual, like, owner of a card, like, say it was like a Mike Trout auto and a Bryce Harper auto and somebody didn't own both teams, I would not random it until either one of the two people said to random it, then I would, or I'd let them work it out. Third option was I would sell it um, and then just take the fees off. I would do the shipping on my own, but I would sell the card on eBay at auction and for them. You know, stuff like that there. Because I always hated having a big card and not being able to give me a few minutes to see if the other guy wanted to buy me out or I'd have been like, hey, dude, it's a thousand dollar card. I have two hundred in. You give me three hundred. We'll call it even type deal. You know, something like that. But just got to have certain rules and stick with them the whole way through. Um, feel bad for the follower that thought he was getting that, and then to get to have to wait and to see it. Uh, you know. But I don't know. I'm just real curious on everybody's thoughts on to this whole thing. If you've heard about, it, you were in one of the streams, whatever it may be. Again, I, I don't know these guys, never heard of them before. I don't, I probably would not be able to watch these guys for four hours straight. And they're a little bit too uh, hyper for me, I guess would be the polite way of saying it. Um, but, all right, guys, that's it. Like I said, link if you guys want to watch the full videos down there. Um, in no way am I affiliated with them or with anybody against them and stuff like that there. It's just more of a casual conversation, I guess you can call it, or just, you know, of what everybody thinks out there on this stuff like this. You know, you uh, it's just one of those subjects when I sit there and think about it, you know, you, you should probably, my opinion, just giving it to the guy that was the follower, regardless if he's only been a follower for three minutes or not. You know, you're sitting there begging people to be your followers and watch your streams. I mean, that's how you guys generate revenue and ad, all that other sponsorship stuff. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be the end of these guys because of something like this. It really wasn't like scamish to where they took a card, you know, from a break or something like that. But it, it does kind of bring into a big gray area onto everything out there. All right, guys. Take care of a good one. Catch y'all next video.